guys, welcome back to another iPhone development tutorial. This one's going to be using Quora Graphics to make our application all nice and fancy. I've called this Pimp Cocktails or Pimp My Cocktails or Pimp My Table View, whatever you want to call it. Just make the table sales fancier. Uh, I'm going to be using a template I made before, my MVC Cocktail List. Um, you can download that previous tutorial or look at it on YouTube. Uh, I've also put a modified version which is this one onto github as well the link will be up below i put them into a grouped style rather than plain and give it a title so download it and start from here second of all this entire tutorial is based on one i found on ray wenderlich's website he has brilliant tutorials on games graphics everything so all credit goes to that website for this tutorial it's incredibly amazing website so I advise you all to check it out and to give better detail than I can on a lot of things. Okay, so a sec another thing is I'm going to have to stop the video a few times to write code out because there's quite a lot in it. I'll explain it after I've typed it out but if I type and explain it'll take far far too long just to do small bits. It's very fast to do but it takes much longer to type and talk about it as I go on. Okay, so first thing is we want to make this um, these cells stand out you know, not just plain white. We want to have like the nav bar has light to a dark color. But because we're gonna use this several times for like the cells and for our custom header later on, we are gonna make one method that can be reused for all these things. So right click on your program and new file and it's called it's making a Objective C class. It's gonna be NS objects and we're gonna call it common. And create. Now you might understand some of the things I typed to begin with. So just bear with me for one sec. So we have to make a, we're going to be using this method in another class, so it has to be declared in the header. So it's, zoom in so you can see a bit better. Void, draw, linear, gradient. This is a name, doesn't matter what you call it. Now, you might have noticed that we're not using a standard setup for um, declaring them, because this is an object, so you don't need to have the the brackets and everything. Now it's gonna take this is gonna take a few arguments. First of all is CG context ref context. Now CG context ref is setting up the whole canvas or page or view. It's a setup, it's the general manager of this um, scenario. So you always have to have the context. The context is very important. I don't think you can do anything without it. Uh, CG rect is basically the constructor what's gonna be what's gonna be drawn and uh, then cg color color uh color ref color reference like ever is start color so what color we want to begin with and then cg color ref end color what color we want to end the gradient with okay now i'm going to copy and paste this into our m file Okay, now i'm going to type out this color very quickly and we're back it was not very very fast now you may be looking at all this code and wondering what the hell does it all mean. Okay, I'll explain it. First of all, we have to set up our color space. Okay, this is basically what colors we're going to be instantiating. Do you this gradient is going to take what colors we set somewhere else. This is the constructor for the gradient. So this has to set up all the variables on where it's going to be. So the color space is just setting up, sorry, the color space for lack of a better phrase. Now locations. Locations doesn't really mean much. The, the fact that there's two um, arguments in here means that there's going to be two colors, zero and one. So it's going to start at zero and end at one. So then we have the, the array of colors. So we're putting in the start color and the end color, which is still just as good as still reference this. Now the gradient. This probably one of the most important parts. The gray is going to take three arguments. The color space, that one, the colors. Now the colors is an array, okay? But you have you may notice here, that's an objective C array. We have to cast it into a CF array. Like that, and then locations, zero and one. So start and end, start and end, and color space. Now, where do we want it to start? We want the gradient to go from the top to the bottom, the whole way across. So the start point is the middle X. So X across, the very middle, and min Y, which is zero, to be the top, to the end point, which is 
still the middle of the x to the bottom of the y. So top to bottom, same as the gradient on the navigation bar. Top to bottom, light to darker, however you want to set it. Now, save state might confuse you. It's a, this is a state machine core graphics. So you have to save the state and then set up a restore at the end. It's it's kind of tricky to explain, I can't explain it too well, but you have to save it and restore it after you've edited it. Um, hopefully it become clear as we go along. Now, so if we are adding our rect to our context, so the rectangle has been added to it. Clipping is to allow us to draw inside arbitrary shapes. So unless we did this, we wouldn't be able to do this grain very well or so easily. Now, this is probably the most important line. So our context, our frame, our view, whatever, the gradient, which we've set up there with our um, array of colors, it knows that's going to be taken two colors, and then our start point, our end point, and then zero, just to let it know it's finished, and then restore the state. So it's saved, edited, and restored. I know it sounds like a, a weird way of doing it, but it's just the way it's done in the core graphics. Um, and then we have to release the gradient, because we're setting it up, and then we have to release our color space, because we it's a uh, it's an object, it's a constructor essentially. Now that we have our gradient set up, we have to make a custom cell to hold this and then to override the cell in the table view controller. So right click, new file, objective C class, subclass of UI view, and call it custom uh, cell background. Create. Alright, now we don't need to edit our H file, just our M file. Now in the M file, you'll see a file, uh, sorry, a method called draw rec. This is the override method. So whatever we do here is going to override the view we're going to import this into. Okay, so also we have to, at the very top, import common, because don't forget we want to use this gradient in this file. So now we have to set up also set up the context in this view. So cg context ref, let's call it context, equals c, sorry, uh, ui graphics get current context. So it's setting up the, the canvas, the view, the screen, you want to call it. cg color ref, uh, white color, equals ui color. Now, what we could do is go through the way of making a custom color with um, uh, like white, uh, RGB, red, green, blue, but we're not going to bother with that. I'm going to do a very shorthand way and just do white color. Now, because white color is a Objective C class, you have to cast it into a core graphics CG color. Done. And don't forget, we're, don't forget, we're going to be handing in two arguments to this constructor from a different class, so we have to have two colors. So gray color equals. UI color, once again, I'm not going to type out the whole thing. Um, gray color, dot CG color, nope, CG color, not gray color. So I could have done this in RGB, but it would it, take too long and you know, we don't have that much time to do it in. Now we have to set the, the size essentially, even though it's already set up. So CG rect, um, paper rect, just a name equals self dot bounds. So remember if you watched watch previous tutorials, I set the size sometimes to size dot bounds dot width and dot height. It's just telling it that its size is the entire screen. So in this case the cell is going to be its entire um playground. Okay, now remember we made the method draw linear gradient. We made that in the previous class that's been imported from common. So context paper rect start, uh, sorry no, uh, white color and gray color. There, that's our gradient pretty much done essentially. So let's do one more thing here and that's to go into our table view controller up to the top and import a custom table, custom table cell down to our table cell and we have to make a slight alteration to this. So, do do do. Cell dot 
background color uh, sorry not background color background view yes view pay yourself equals custom custom cell background a lock in it and then auto release cell dot selected background view equals same thing custom cell lock in it auto release and then cell dot text label text label uh, dot background color equals UI color um, clear color. Now before we ask what this is, it's because we've set our um, text down here to be a name from a different class. If we don't use clear color it'll it'll block out our custom cell by quite a bit. So if you build and run you can now see our cells have a gradient from light to dark. Now that's a very basic example where you see we've fixed our rented edges that were a bit wonky if you saw them. We've put in a nice little gradient to cell stand out a bit more. If you want to change that very quickly hop into our cell background and change it to yellow colour just to show you how easy this is to change and mess around with and customise. There you go and our app still works perfectly. Uh, don't worry about these little lines around the edges, we're going to be fixing those in just a moment. But I'm going to leave it there now for that. That's to show you how easy to put a gradient into your application. Um, we're going to move off that and put a border around it and do a few more things, make a header. But you know, you can import those two files into any application that has a table view. Um, edit in your table cell those three lines I showed you and then you have a gradient in your table cell. It's just that easy. All right, folks, show me next time for a few more additions. We're going to tie it up, make it look better, and pimp our table view. Thanks for watching. See you soon.